So I grew up in two different industries, both involving horsepower. Her passion being horses, mine being horsepower, and I cannot wait for you to see our adventures. Emily, I want you to meet Allison. Nice to meet Taylor, I really appreciate, and I know Emily may have had a little more fun today at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Probably pretty fun for you to experience as well. Oh yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've been there, um, so it's really cool seeing like all the new stuff that's gone in and, and what has changed over the couple of years that it's yeah. been since I've been there. Yeah, obviously in growing up in a racing family um, and the Dale Earnhardt Foundation is very near and dear to your heart. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. Uh, you know. It, it, Everything that was important to dad is what we based it off of, wildlife, education, and children. And we try and do a lot with, in all three of those areas. We, uh, we have a great campus with the Girl Scouts, the Dale Earnhardt Leadership Campus, and um, has a lot of great you know, activities, you know, and, and, and the Girl Scouts are such a great group. And, and so, I mean, I, I'm bummed out that I never was one, <laughs> but, uh, but visiting up there and seeing everything they do now is great. And, you know, we do scholarships, Legend Leadership Award, and it's really cool being involved with all that and seeing, you know, all these things that can help change the world and, and make this a better place. One step at a time, you know, it's, you know, if you feel like you're kind of spreading you know, your nature mm -hmm. and your family's nature, you know, you can kind of change the world one step at a time. Absolutely. So awesome. Well, I was wondering where your love for horses started. Was your family into horses? And, you know, I know the car thing was a huge deal, <laughs> but like, where did the horses come in? You know, um, growing up, we always had horses. Dad had, you know, trail horses. He just enjoyed it. We had cows. He really enjoyed having cows and being on the farm and, and being outdoors and hunting. And on this property, right? Of this property, and you know, when he'd go hunting, he'd that he'd like going to pack in, so he'd pack in on horses wow. and go hunting. Oh my gosh, that's um, awesome! So it started with that. Like I started riding when I was really young, three years old, and uh, it just kind of grew from there. And you know, eventually, I, I found out you could compete on horses and yeah. go fast, and that yes. just went right up my and alley. That part of your dad <laughs> is in you. That like, it is for sure, you for are sure. Super so competitive and like go getter. I, yeah. So when I discovered <laughs> barrel racing, I was like, this is this is it. This is what I got to do. That's awesome. I can That's relate so to cool. you. I feel like I'm many numerous levels. Um, I know I grew up showing horses and I still, you know, ride to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, it started out with just kind of riding leisurely, but obviously I have a competitive nature. But I think I kind of get the competitive nature um, growing up in a NASCAR family as well. Absolutely. Being a daughter of a team owner in the truck series, being at the track or being at the horse show, mm -hmm. I feel like the people are kind of the same you know, the same values. At the end of the day, they're humble people and work hard. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a big family. I mean, barrel racing, rodeo, everything. Everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. If, you know, you broke down on the side of the road at three o'clock in the morning, there's somebody coming behind you that you know you can call and, and mm -hmm. they'll be right there to help you out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I cheer on everybody. Like I, all my friends barrel race, you know, my sister-in-law, everything, and I want them to do just as good as I do. And if they have a bad day, I feel like I feel bad for them because I have a bad day because yeah. you it's know hard it's, to it's enjoy horrible. Your, yeah, I mean, your day. but uh, you know, it, it's great being able to be a part of that community. And it, it was the same when I was younger, going to races and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was a family. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it was, it's nice that I've been able to find something to do um, in my adult life that I enjoyed as my so child, my childhood. Yeah. If you don't practice hard, you know, when you show up at your event. Exactly. Probably you can't, it's not given to you. Exactly. And I know you know that. Exactly. I mean, it, you've got to give it 110% because that animal is giving you that much, so you've got to do the same thing. And that means, you know, working hard during the week. If, you know, if they need to work on something, we got to tune on that. we got to practice. they got to stay in shape. Um, the therapy that, you know, we put them through to, to keep them feeling good, keep their muscles, you know, just feeling good, keep them sound, it's just... It's a lot that goes into it, and it's the same way with racing. Yeah. You know, like you prepare for every track you go to, and you only have a certain amount of days between <laughs> races. You know that you mm -hmm. got to change stuff, change mm -hmm. stuff. So, 
it, it's a lot that goes hand in hand. It's you gotta the same. get to know your car and yeah. get out there and feel the pavement and exactly. feel how that surface feels. Like we were looking at the Hall of Fame. It's exactly. So I mean, we'll be we'll be going to a rodeo, and and if it's one that I haven't been to, that. I'll, I'll be calling people that I know have been there and be like, yeah. what's the ground like? What's the arena like? Who do I need to bring? Like what, and I'll be preparing. From an outsider's so perspective, cool. like you said, you turn right once, then left twice <laughs> in barrels. And at a racetrack, so I'm, oh, they're just going around in circles to the left, but it's a lot it's of a, details. It's yeah. a lot of details. And, and I always got ribbed on um, at a clinic one time, at a Martha Josie clinic, that when I first started to learn how to rope, um, because I'd never done it. And, and after you rope, you're supposed to turn your horse to the right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a training thing. It, it keeps the horse straight when you stop. And uh, they all were, I, I went to turn to go away, and I was went, I was going left because that's the way I was just going. And it, they were all <laughs> yelling, "Turn right, turn right!" And I looked back at him, and I don't know where it came in my head, but it was perfect. I was like, "I'm an Earnhardt. I don't turn right." <laughs> <laughs> So I mean I don't it was don't perfect and so know? now and so now everybody brings that up every time I see them that were that were there that day. So it was it was funny. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's the story that gets brought up in a That's lot now, or so awesome. don't turn right. <laughs> I love it. So obviously motorsports was in your family, mm -hmm. obviously your dad even rode horses like you you told us mentioned before. Um, but I may have seen a picture of you in a driver's suit at a young age. Can you tell me a little bit about that? You know, that, that was for an exhibition run at Goodwood in England, and they asked me to come over and drive one of my dad's cars. In It's kind of like just a pass-through. Everybody waves. You know, everybody, it, there's a bunch of people. I mean, any bunch of cars. It was crazy wow. to see all the different kind of race cars mm -hmm. and everything. I mean, because they get people from all over the world, all different kinds of racing. But that was really fun to just to just go up the mountain and yeah. see everybody, and, and, and that was fun. But no, competitively, I've never raced. Now, you take me to a go-kart track that may happen I, I know I heard y'all got to race the other day <laughs> I'll get out of the way for both of you <laughs> <laughs> the last go-kart track I went to I got kicked out of so it might not be a good idea for us to oh go my gosh. well next time we visit we'll have to do that together. for sure that would be awesome do you mind if we get a picture real quick Absolutely. oh yeah let's do it okay. that would be awesome